from Sheikh Abdul Karim al Hudayr. Hafizahullah. Sheikh Abdul Karim is one of the Kibar ulama from the major scholars of the of Saudi Arabia. He said, maybe someone, I'm just summarizing his words and paraphrasing, maybe someone, people benefit from his knowledge. And maybe people benefit from his way, meaning the way he conducts himself. And a lot of people might enter Jannah through him. Yet he becomes from the first people who enter hellfire. Maybe someone, people will benefit from him. From his talks. Inspirational. Maybe people will benefit from his character. The way he is himself. And people might enter Jannah through him. But he himself is one of the first people to go to the hellfire. And that comes down to the matters of the heart. In the hadith in Sahih Muslim. The hadith of Hanbala radiallahu anhu. قال لقيني أبو بكر أبو بكر he met with me فقال أني سيد he saw him أبو بكر saw حنظلة in a state of frenzy فقال مالك أو كيف أنت يا حنظلة how are you حنظلة why are you like this فقال سو حنظلة he says نافق حنظلة حنظلة has become a منافق hypocrite and this is one of them Companions of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. كيف أنت يا حنظلة and حنظلة says نافق حنظلة. حنظلة has become a hypocrite. And Abu Bakr said, رضي الله عنه سبحان الله. ما تقول? What are you saying? What are you saying? فقال so he said حنظلة. نكون عند رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم when we are with the messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم يذكرنا بالنار والجنة and he reminds us of the hellfire and the paradise حتى كأن رأي العين to the extent that it's as if we are seeing it with our own naked eyes فإذا خرجنا من عند رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم but once we leave from the messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم عافسنا الأولاد والأزواج والضيعات. We go and intermingle and play with the wives and the children and these other things which waste time. فنسينا كثيرا and we forget a lot. This is his explanation why he is saying that he thinks he himself is a hypocrite. فقال أبو بكر upon this أبو بكر رضي الله عنه he said إِنَّا لَنُلْقِي مِثْلَ هَذَا I also feel just like that. يعني أبو بكر رضي الله عنه he says then I fear for myself also I'm a hypocrite. That is Abu Bakr al-Siddiq رضي الله عنه What about me and you? That is Abu Bakr al-Siddiq رضي الله عنه إِنَّا لَنُلْقِي مِثْلَ هَذَا We feel the same. So they left and they went to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This is the point I wanted to mention. And we'll leave the rest of the hadith for the end. Ibn Abi Mulaika Rahimahullah Ibn Abi Mulaika is from the Tabi'un. So the Sahaba, the companions but they did not meet the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The second generation of Muslims. Ibn Abi Mulaika says, أدركت ثلاثين من أصحاب النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم. I met thirty companions of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم. كلهم يخاف النفاق على نفسه. All of them they used to fear nifaq, hypocrisy on themselves. All of them they used to fear saying, maybe I'm a hypocrite. I need to check myself. I have to stop thinking that I'm going to Jannah just because my ID says whatever name that is is yours. Kulluhum, all of them, they used to fear nifaq on themselves. Practically, so that would make them become proper Muslims practically. In checking their hearts, cleansing their hearts and acting 
towards Ibrahim. I never saw any of them who would claim that he is upon the same Iman as Mikael and Jibrail, the two angels of Allah, for their hearts. Because these hearts, Allah, they are easy to deviate. I met 30 companions, not one. Hudayfa radiallahu anhu and Ulay Hudayfa radiallahu anhu, he was special. The Ashab of the had some characteristics or qualities which are special for him himself. And from the special qualities of Hudayfa radiallahu anhu, Kana Sahibu Sir, the secret keeper of the names of those diseased ones. Those with this disease of nifaq, hypocrisy. The hypocrites. But then at the end of his life, Allah revealed to him revelation mentioning names. So and so, and so and so, and so and so. Munafiq, going to the hellfire. By names. Before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he said to his prophet and, and the believers, وَلَا تَعْرِفَنَّهُمْ فِي لَحْنِ الْقَوْلِ You'll know them the way they talk. You'll know them the way the characteristics of the munafiq. But after that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed to his prophet names, names, a list, a list of names. And the only person the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam gave that list was Hudayfa. Radiallahu anhu. And it was a secret. Nobody knew that. Nobody knew the names which were mentioned. That is what they used to fear for themselves. In the narration of Rabbi Al-Bazzar in his Musnad, come sit here. Adam, come sit here. We always say, if you're not old, you don't have back pain, you come sit close here. Bazzar, he says in his Musnad from Hudayfa radiallahu anhu, Du'ya Umar li janazatin fiha Oh, Funeral prayer. Oh, he wanted to go for, to a funeral prayer. فَتَعَلَّقْتُ بِهِ فَقُلْتُ اِجْلِسْ يَا أَمِيرَ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ فَإِنَّهُ مِنْ أُولَائِكَ He says, Hudayfa, but I held on to Umar. I held on to Umar. The believers, sit, don't go. Because that person who died is from those ones. Meaning the hypocrites, وَلِيَذَمْ بِاللَّهِ فَإِنَّهُ مِنْ أُولَائِكَ He knew them, Hudayfa. Nobody else knew them. This is after the Prophet ﷺ passed away. Upon that, Umar radiallahu anhu, he said, نَشَدْتُكَ بِاللَّهِ I ask you by Allah. I ask you by Allah. أَنَا مِنْهُمْ Am I one of them? Umar! Radiallahu anhu, Umar, and before we just mentioned Abu Bakr, he fears on himself, am I one in Hudayfa, he says, la, wa wallahi la ubriu ahadan ba'dak, and after you, I'm never going to talk to this, to this, about, and to anyone about, about this. Umar, radiallahu anhu, was given the glad tidings of, ma mada mu'min qat, wa la baqya illa huwa min al-nifaq mushfiq. He said, there's no true believer who passes on, Jazakallah khair, or who still is alive, except that the believer, you find him, he fears himself, he fears for himself from hypocrisy, nifaq. وَمَا مَضَى مُنَافِقَتْ وَلَا بَقِيَ إِلَّا وَهُوَ مِنَ النِّفَاقِ آمِن And no hypocrite lives in this world or passes by, except that he is the one who feels secure. He feels secure from nifaq. When you feel secure from nifaq, then know that you have a problem. Just like the one who sees himself that I have knowledge. As the ulama, they said, Ajhal ma yakunu rajul idha qal ana alim. The most ignorant you can be is when you say, I am a scholar. That's the most ignorant you can be. He says, no believer can be a true believer except that he is the one who fears. And there's no munafiq hypoc hypocrite except that he's the one who feels secure. This is reported by Al-Faryab in his book Sifatul Munafiqin or Sifatul Munafiqin. Abu Uthman al-Nahdi he says Qultu li Abi al-Raja'i al-Ataridi 
Abu Rajal Atwaridi again is from the Tabi'un, those who saw the, the companions. Hal adrakta mimman adrakta min ashabi Rasulillah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam yakhshawn al-nifaq. Abu Uthman is asking Abu Rajal Atwaridi. Those, did you meet any of them who used to fear nifaq, hypocrisy on himself? وَكَانَ قَدْ أَدْرَكَ عُمَرَ رضي الله عنه أبو, أبو الرجاء He even saw Umar قال نعم He said of course yes إني أدركت منهم بحمد الله صدرا حسنا نعما شديدا نعما شديدا He says yes أو He said نعم شديدا نعم شديدا He says yes They used to fear it strongly They used to fear it strongly of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Qala ibn al-Qayyim rahimahullah ibn al-Qayyim he says in his book Madaraj al-Salikin Tallahi by Allah the hearts of those people they were filled with iman, belief and yaqeen, certainty wa khawfuhu min al-nifaq shadeed and their fear from nifaq hypocrisy was severe, strong wa hammuhum li thalika thaqeel and it used to stress them a lot that you could be a hypocrite indeed. وَسِوَاهُمْ كَثِيرٌ And other than them, there's a lot. مِنْهُمْ لَا يُجَاوِزُ إِيمَانُهُمْ حَنَاجِرَهُمْ From them of those whose iman does not pass his throat. Huh? While they claim that their iman is like the iman of Jibreel and Mikail. My brothers and my sisters, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he warned his prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Ya ayyuhal nabiyu attaqillaha wa la tuti'i al-kafirina wal munafiqir. Fear Allah and do not obey, meaning do not give in to the kafirin, the disbelievers in their ways, and the munafiqin and the hypocrites. Allah is reminding his prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, what about me and you? And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says to us, Humul adu, fahdarahum. Humul adu. Those are the real enemies of Islam. So beware of them. Fahdarahum. Beware of them. Allah salam, ya ayyuhan nabiyu jahid al munaf, jahid al kuffar wal munafiqin wa ghulud alayhim. Is it something severe? And that is where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he promised them the worst part of the hellfire. Even worse than the disbelievers worship idols. إِنَّ الْمُنَافِقِينَ فِي الدَّرْكِ الْأَسْفَلِ مِنَ النَّارِ Allah says, surely the hypocrites, they'll be in the lowest denizens, the lowest parts of the hellfire. The true believer, he fears for himself. Like Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu and Umar and the rest of the Sahaba. They used to fear. What does it mean to fear yourself from nifaq? You, how do you know you're good? Allah says, فَلَا تُزَكُّ أَنفُسَكُمْ Don't praise yourselves. You fear for your iman every time. That is how, what it means. Every time you rely on Allah. يَا مُقَلِّبَ الْقُلُوبِ Oh Allah, you are the turn of the hearts. Thabbit qalbi ala deenik. Make my heart steadfast on your religion. That is why from the adhkar you do morning and evening. From the adhkar you do morning and evening. You say, Ya hayyu ya qayyum. Bi rahmatika astaghithu. Aslih li sha'ni kullahu. Wa la takillah. Do not leave me to myself. Even for the blink of an eye. Not one minute. Even for the blink of an eye. You take care of me. Protect me. These are the ones Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala praised them. وَالَّذِينَ يُؤْتُونَ مَا أَتَوْ وَقُلُوبُهُمْ وَجِلَةٌ أَنَّهُمْ إِلَىٰ رَبِّهِمْ رَاجِعٌ Jum'ah, they pray the sunnah after that. They fast Monday and Thursday or they fast Ramadan or they give charity. Yet they fear. Maybe this action. They do what they do but they fear. Allah says, those are the true believers. That is how believers are supposed to be. To fear from nifaq. Especially at these times of fitan, when the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "There will come that time." The mu'minan yusbihu kafiran, yabi'udinahu bi'arad min al-dunya. 
A person wakes up a Muslim, in the evening he becomes kafir. Or he's a Muslim in the evening, when morning comes he's kafir. Why? He can sell his religion for something small of the dunya. A nifaq, which we're talking about, if you remember a few year, weeks ago we discussed that nifaq is of two types. Nifaq al-akbar, major hypocrisy. That is the one whom those people are going to the lowest parts of the hellfire. Nifaq al-akbar, an yudhir al-islam wal-iman. Wa huwa fi al-batin, kafirun bil-islam wal-iman. It's for someone to show, to display outwardly like he is a Muslim. But inside, he rejects all of that. He doesn't believe in Allah, nor in his books, nor is in angels, nor his prophets, no. But he just acts like a Muslim. That is the major nifaq. Whom they and then you have the nifaq al-asghar, the minor nifaq or the smaller nifaq. And that is the one which has been Mentioned in the many a hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and it comes down to those five qualities. And there's more qualities which we're going to mention today. But it all stems down from what? It all stems down from what? Al Imam Al Qayyim rahimahullah he says in his book Tariq al Hijratain, the things which drive people to nifaq. الحامل لهم على النفاق طلب العز والجاه بين الطائفتين فيرضي المؤمنين ليعز ليعزهم ويرضي الكفار ليعزهم أيضا. He wants nobility and famousness and fame and fame so in status. So he is with this group the believers and with this group the kuffar. He wants to make both happy and he wants both of them to be happy with him. As Allah said, مُذَبْذَبِينَ وَإِنَ ذَلِكَ لَا إِلَهَا أُولَى وَلَا إِلَهَا أُولَى They are wavering between the two groups, between Islam and Kufr, between Iman and Shirk. They are not on this side, they want to please both of them. He says, أَمِنْهَا هُنَا دَخَلَ عَلَيْهِمُ الْبَلَى And this is how the test came to them. فَإِنَّهُمْ أَرَادُوا الْعِزَّتَيْنِ مِنْ طَائِفَتَيْنِ They wanted the two um, glories from both groups. وَلَمْ يَكُنْ لَهُمْ غَرَضٌ فِي الْإِيمَانِ وَالْإِسْلَامِ وَلَا طَاعَةِ اللَّهِ وَرَسُولِهِ But they had no intention and no part of Iman or Islam or obeying Allah and His Messenger. بَلْ كَانَ مَيْلُهُمْ وَصَغْوِهُمْ وَوَجْهَتِهِمْ إِلَى الْكُفَّارِ Rather indeed they chose more to be with the kuffar. فَقُوبِلُوا عَلَى ذَلِكَ بِأَعْظَمِ الظُّلِّ وَهُوَ أَنْ جُعِلَ أَوْ جَعَلَ مُسْتَقَرِّهِمْ فِي أَسْفَلِ السَّافِلِينَ تَحْتَ الْكُفَّارِ And their end became the worst of humiliation. That Allah made them to be lower than the kuffar. From the signs of nifaq, which we're going to mention today, and we're mentioning that so, so that every Muslim, so that we can be careful that we don't have any of these qualities, hasten to treat our hearts. And that is the last chapter we'll mention on how to protect our hearts and our iman from nifaq. And if you don't finish today, we'll continue the week after, insha'Allah. And I know I promised you questions and answers today because of the last week's topic and that we will do after Maghrib. Sifat al-munafiqeen fil kitab wa sunnah. The characteristics of the hypocrites in the book and the sunnah. Number one, marad al Their hearts are sick. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Baqarah, فِي قُلُوبِهِمْ مَرَضٌ فَزَادَهُمُ اللَّهُ مَرَضًا وَلَهُمْ عَذَابٌ أَلِيمٌ بِمَا كَانُوا يَكْذِبُونَ In their hearts there is a sickness and the sickness was increased by Allah because of their wrongdoing and they shall have a painful punishment 
because they used to deny Allah's message. It is amazing in the Quran, after Surah al fatiha comes Surah Al-Baqarah. You know how Al-Baqarah starts? Al-Baqarah starts talking about the believers. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim alif la mim thalika al-kitab la rayba fi hudan lil-muttaqin al-lazhin yu'minuna bil-ghayb wa yuqimuna al-salat amimma razaqnahum yunfiqun wal-lazhin يؤمنون بما أنزل إليك وما أنزل من قبلك وبالآخرة هم يوقنون أولئك على هدى من ربهم وأولئك هم المفلحون الله describes the believers in those four or five ayahs four or five verses and then Allah سبحانه وتعالى speaks about the disbelievers the kufar those were open إن الذين كفروا سواء خدم الله على قلوبهم وعلى سمعهم وعلى أبصارهم غشاء ولهم عذاب Alim. Walahum Adabun Alim. Three verses, Allah speaks about the kuffar. And then more than ten verses, Allah speaks about the hypocrites. More than ten verses. O mina nasiman yakulu amanna billahu bilyom il akhir o mahumi mu'minin. And they are from the people who say we believe in Allah and we believe in the last day. But they are not believers, like we said. They say outward they are Muslims, but inside they have nothing. يُخَادِعُونَ اللَّهَ وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا They try to betray and deceive Allah and those who believe. وَمَا يَخْدَعُونَ إِلَّا أَنفُسَهُمْ But they only deceive themselves. وَمَا يَشْعُرُونَ فِي قُلُوبِهِمْ مَرَضٍ وَلَهُمْ عَذَابٌ أَلِيمٌ بِمَا كَانُوا يَكْذِبُونَ And then Allah continues mentioning the traits. Allah described the hypocrites more than he described the believers in the kuffar so that we can be careful. That's the point behind it. So that is the first characteristics of them. Their hearts are sickened. They have lusts and desires in their hearts which overcome them. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says to the women of the believers, فَلَا تَخْضَعْنَ بِالْقَوْلِ فَيَتْمَعَ الَّذِي فِي قَلْبِهِ مَرَبْتُ Number three. التَّكَبُّرُ لِإِسْتِكْبَارُ They are people who are arrogant with kibr. وَإِذَا قِيلَ لَهُمْ تَعَالَ وَيَسْتَغْفِرْ لَكُمْ رَسُولَ اللَّهِ لَوَّوْ رُؤُوسَهُمْ وَرَأَيْتَهُمْ يَسُدُّونَ وَهُمْ مُسْتَكْبِرُونَ Allah then says what? سَوَاءٌ عَلَيْهِمْ أَسْتَغْفَرْتَ لَهُمْ لَنْ يَغْفِرَ اللَّهُ لَهُمْ When they are told, come, this is Surah Al-Munafiqun, to show you how important this thing is, يا إخوان, Allah brought a whole surah, surah al-munafiqun. A whole chapter, the chapter of the hypocrites. You don't have surah al-muslimun in the Quran. To warn. To warn the people. إِذَا جَاءَكَ الْمُنَافِقُونَ لَرَسُولُ اللَّهُ وَاللَّهُ يَعْلَمُ إِنَّكَ لَرَسُولُ اللَّهُ يَشْهَدُ إِنَّ الْمُنَافِقِينَ لَكَاذِبُونَ When they come to you, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, they say, Nashhadu, they give the shahada, you are the messenger of Allah. But Allah is not in need of that. Allah knows you are the messenger. And Allah, He knows. Subhanallah. When they are told, Come, let the Prophet وسلم, ask for forgiveness for you so you can become Muslims, proper Muslims. You'll see them, they have kibr, they have arrogance, they turn away. They were given a chance, Allah gave them a chance. When they are told, come, let the Prophet وسلم, ask for forgiveness for you. They turn away with arrogance. Arrogance and nifaq, they go together. 
any of the diseases of the hearts we mentioned, they go together with nifaq. We have to know. Number four. Waljulusu ila al mustahzi'ina bi ayatillah. They are those who make fun of Allah's verses. And they are the ones who sit with those who make fun of Allah's verses. And you mentioned this in the last class of Nawaqad al-Islam. This is from the things which invalidates one's, one's Islam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, يَحْذَرُ الْمُنَافِقُونَ أَن تُنَزَّلَ عَلَيْهِمْ سُورَةٌ تُنَبِّئُهُمْ بِمَا فِي قُلُوبِهِمْ قُلِ اسْتَهْزِئُوا إِنَّ اللَّهَ مُخْرِجٌ مَا تَحْذَرُونَ Allah says in Surah At-Tawbah, which is a surah which the scholars, they call it Al-Fadiha. Al-Fadiha, the humiliation. Because Surah At-Tawbah, it humiliated the hypocrites. Surah At-Tawbah is from the last surahs to be revealed. After Tabuk, during Tabuk and after. Allah, He humiliated the munafiqun, the hypocrites. Allah says about them, يَحْذَرُ الْمُنَافِقُونَ أَن تُنَزَّلَ عَلَيْهِمْ سُورَةٌ تُنَبِّئُهُمْ بِمَا فِي قُلُوبِهِمْ يَقُولُ الْمَامَ التَّبَرِ Imam At-Tabari, he says, explain this verse. يَخْشَ الْمُنَافِقُونَ أَن تُنَزَّلَ فِيهِمْ سُورَةٌ تُنَبِّئُهُمْ بِمَا فِي قُلُوبِهِمْ اَيْ تَظْهَرُ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ عَلَى مَا فِي قُلُوبِهِمْ The hypocrites, they fear that a surah will be sent down where Allah will expose them, their secrets. That is because when they used to speak bad of the Prophet wasallam, when they used to speak bad about Islam and their companions, they used to say, we hope that no, verse, no verses come because of us so that Allah will expose us. That's what they used to say. That is where Allah says here, continue making fun. Continue making fun. Inna Allah, Allah is going to reveal what you fear. Allah is going to reveal it. And Allah revealed it. Their names to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala says, وَقَدْ نَزَّلَ عَلَيْكُمْ فِي الْكِتَابِ أَنْ إِذَا سَمِعْتُمْ آيَاتِ اللَّهِ يُكْفَرُ بِهَا وَيُسْتَهْزَأُ بِهَا فَلَا تَقْعُدُوا مَعَهُمْ حَتَّى يَخُوضُوا فِي حَدِيثٍ غَيْرِ إِنَّكُمْ إِذَا مِثْلُهُمْ إِنَّ اللَّهَ جَامِعُ الْمُنَافِقِينَ وَالْكَافِرِينَ فِي جَهَنَّمَ جَمِيعًا Allah says, and it has been revealed to you, Muslims, in that when you hear people making fun, of the religion of Allah. And when you hear. People denying. People, and if you do still sit with them. While you know they are making fun of Allah's book. Innakum mithluhum. And then Allah he says. Inna Allah. Because surely Allah. Jami'ul munafiqeen. He will gather all the hypocrites. Wal munafiq. Showing that this is what they used to do. Number five, or is it six? Huh? In. The previous one is that they will make fun of the verses of Allah. Number five, they will make verses of the believers, the Muslims. When they meet the believers, they say to them, You are believers like you, Muslims. But when they go to their shayatween, you are just making fun of them. Al-Imam Al-Qayyim, rahimahullah, he says, وَجْهٌ يَلْقَى بِهِ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ A face which he meets with, which meets with the believers. وَوَجْهٌ يَنْقَلِبْ بِهِ إِلَى إِخْوَانِهِ مِنَ الْمُلْحِدِينَ And the face which he goes back to, to his brothers who are disbelievers. وَلَهُ لِسَانَانَ And he has two tongues. The way he speaks to the believers and the tongue he goes to with those who are his shayateen. And the believer can have ذُو الْوَجْهَيْنِ 
dhul wajhain, to be two faced, as they say in, Eng in English, two faced. And talqi qawman bi wajhin, wa qawmin bi wajhin. You meet some people with this face and some people with this face. No. The believer straight forward. That is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminds us the verse which Ya ayyuhalladhina amanu attaqullah wa qulu qawlan sadeeda. Oh, you will believe, fear Allah and be people who are sadeed, straightforward. Number seven, number six, from the characteristics of the hypocrites. Adhanu sayyib billah, having evil thoughts or bad thoughts about Allah, having bad thoughts about Allah. Qala ta'ala Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, ويعذب المنافقين والمنافقين بالله ظن السوء عليهم دائرة السوء وغضب الله عليهم ودعود له وعد لهم سبحانه وتعالى says and he's going to punish the منافقين male of them والمنافقات the female hypocrites and the مشركين male and the مشرك because they are people of ظنين بالله ظن السوء they used to think of Allah evil thoughts they used to think that this religion of Islam, it will never grow. And Islam will be destroyed and that's it. This is Surah Al-Fatih. If you go to Surah Al-Fatih, that's what it's talking about. They used, to, uh, they used to tell each other, just wait, give them two, three years. This thing will disappear. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But the evil consequence is not coming to Muslims, it's coming to them. And on top of that, وَخَذِبَ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِمْ Allah is angry on them. وَلَعَنَهُ أَعُوذُ بِاللَّهِ Jahannam. Allah, He promised them Jahannam. They have an evil consequence and Allah is angry and they have Jahannam. Evil thoughts about Allah. The believer is the opposite. يَقُولُ اللَّهُ تَعَالَى أَنَا عِنْدَ ظَنِّ عَبْدِي بِي فَلْيُحْسِنُ ذَنَّبِي I am as my slave thinks about me. So let him, and thinking good of Allah and having hope in Allah is one of the main branches of Iman you have to know. Having hope in Allah, always. Number seven. عَدَمُ الثِّقَى بِوَعَدِ اللَّهِ They had no Trust in Allah's promise. This is connected to the previous one. They had no trust in Allah's promise. Allah promised this religion is the religion of truth and it will rule over the world. And Allah promised His Prophet وسلم, and He told the believers the Ahzab are going to attack us. You will see. When that happened, what did the believers say? When the believers saw that happening, they said, this is the promise of Allah and His Messenger. And they said the truth. And it only increased them in Iman. On the other way, They prevent people from giving in the way of Allah. They prevent people from giving to push this religion. And it's from the ways of the hypocrites. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala They are the ones who say, do not give, don't spend on them. Don't aid this religion. So that what will happen? So these people, the poor Sahabas, they will run away and then Islam will collapse. That's what they used to think. Allah reminds them with what? In samawat wal ard. Allah to him belongs the treasures of the heavens and the earth. What is your two dollars going to do? You think if you don't give and you tell people not to give that Islam will crumble down? To Allah belongs the treasures of the heavens and the earth. Al ard. وَلَكِنَّ الْمُنَافِقِينَ لَا يَفْقَهُونَ but there are people who have no understanding, no fiqh, no understanding. Nine? You said nine? Okay, we'll make it nine. 
What time is Maghrib? Eight o'clock. Okay, so we have time. At the Sarbil Mu'minin, they do some good deeds, but they only do that. Huh? Those are. Hmm? They do things, but not for the sake of those things. They have other things on the side they're doing. So they show people, this is a masjid, but it's not a masjid. It's a center for destroying Islam indeed, not to grow Islam. Allah informed us about that masjid they built. Masjid Dirar, the masjid of harm. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says about them, وَالَّذِينَ اتَّخَذُوا مَسْجِدًا ضِرَارًا وَكُفْرًا وَتَفْرِيقًا بَيْنَ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ وَإِرْصَادًا لِمَنْ حَارَبَ اللَّهَ وَرَسُولَهُ مِنْ قَبْلُ وَلَيَحْلِفُنَّ إِنْ أَرَدْنَا إِلَّا الْحُسْنَ وَاللَّهُ يَشْهَدُوا إِنَّهُمْ لَكَاذِبُونَ Allah says in those who built the masjid of Dirar, they built a huge masjid, imagine. The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم had his masjid, they built a huge masjid. For what though? And then they, invent, they invited the Prophet ﷺ for the grand opening. Because they knew if the Prophet ﷺ came to pray, then that's it. Everyone will about to go there. Allah brought down these verses. Surah to Tawbah again. Allah says, well, Ladina and those ones who took the masjid of Dirar, they built that masjid of harm. Huh? For what? Wa kufran, and it is kufr. وَتَفْرِيقًا مَيْنَ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ And they are disuniting the believers. And for what? That was a center for what? It was a hub for what? وَإِرْسَادًا لِمَنْ حَارَبَ اللَّهَ رَسُولًا مِنْ قَبْلُ And it will be a center for those who fought Allah and His Messenger before. Now they can come and meet there and plot for the Muslims inside Medina. Allah tells His Messenger, don't go there. لَا تَقُمْ فِيهِ أَبَدًا don't stand there. Don't pray there. Allah says, وَلَيَحْلِفُنَّ And if you ask them, they will swear, Wallahi, in أَرَدْنَا الْحُسْنِ We only want good. Allah says, وَاللَّهُ يَعْلَمُ إِنَّهُمْ لَكَاذِبُونَ They are lying, you should know that. That is why the Prophet ﷺ, he never went there. In fact, he commanded, burn this masjid down. Take it down. Down. Because it's not a masjid. It's a place of fitna. Of kufr. And to divide the Muslims. And as a center for those who fight Islam. Some of you, how many of you knew of this masjid? If you never heard of this, let me tell you something. Now you realize the challenges the Prophet ﷺ faced. How people tried to bring down this religion from then. Number 10. They call the believers names, making fun of them. We mentioned that before, but they also call them names. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَإِذَا قِيلَ لَهُمْ آمِنُوا كَمَا آمَنَ النَّاسِ When it is said to them, believe, like how the people believe, meaning the Sahaba. قَالُوا They reply saying what? أَنُؤْمِنُوا كَمَا آمَنَ السُّفَهَا They say, should we believe like the stupid ones believed? That's what they used to call the Sahaba. Huh? They are following the ways of the Munafiqun, calling the Sahaba names. Shi'atul Rafidah and the Khawarij. Those two sects, they are the ones who talk evil of the Sahaba. Following the way of the hypocrites. Al Rafidah and the Khawarij. We will stop here to prepare for Maghrib and continue after Salat al-Maghrib. Subhanakallahumma bihamdik. Shadun la ilaha ilaha